Hey buddies, Mr. Pugly here, coming at you another Wonderlands build. Today I want to show you my spell shot plus spore warden barrage build that is all about dealing tons and tons of damage with your gun and ability damage so you can actually deal some decent damage with your bow itself. As you saw on the montage in the beginning, the damage of our guns are actually really really good. We're able to kill people really really quickly even some raid bosses, and even in some instances, one shot an entire boss, which is super fun to see. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on the top right. You have no idea how much it helps me out, and let's get into the video. Legendary? Whoa! No way, dude. So first things first, as always, let's go over the skill tree. With Spore Warden, we already know what the bread and butter is. It's Wrath of Nature, so I'm using Wrath of Nature to increase our total damage overall. And since we're getting so much ability damage on this build, because, you know, that's why the Barrage is dealing so much damage, play the angles. It's also getting a ton of damage bonuses as well, because this is ability damage. We're also able to optimize that very easily. So I'll briefly go over this. We have this for gun damage, this for ability damage. This mainly is filler, but it does increase our chances of getting critical hits, which helps play the angles this to go faster and shoot faster this to revive our pets this to have more ammo capacity and ammo regen the ammo regen is niche but it is still nice to have wrath of nature because that's bread and butter of spore warden and then headhunter to deal more damage when we actually hit the critical hit areas now let's go over to the spell shot area so we have three out of three of magic bullets magic bullets is one of the more busted abilities in the entire game because basically the more spell weave stacks that you get on spell shot which grant a ton of spell damage the more gun damage you're dealing. So you're able to deal lots of magic damage and lots of gun damage. So magic bullets is always a three out of three for probably any spell shot build as long as you want to do good gun damage. And since this increases our gun damage, it also increases our barrage damage, which is very, very nice. We have points in here to increase our reload speed because the faster we reload, the more stacks of spell weaving we get. Four out of five of fonts of mana just so we can get our spells quicker. We don't necessarily need axe skill cooldown because of a certain enchantment that you'll see in a few moments. 5 out of 5 to increase our fire rate, just increasing our total DPS. I have glass cannon, so it increases our spell damage, thus increasing our gun damage because of magic bullets. I don't have any points on the magic armor because I want my ward to be depleted at all times, so I made sure not to put any points on that. One point into high thread count so we get more spell weaving stacks for more gun and spell damage, aka more barrage damage, and our class mod gives another point into that. If you can find a class mod with high thread count that is ideal, that is going to be a crazy amount of damage increase. So Make sure to find one of those. Luckily, Spore Warden's armors do allow high thread count to spawn with spell shot. So we have one point in there. Imbue weapon, which just gives bonus damage based on the element of the spell that you just casted to your gun. This does not actually work on barrage, but it'd be really cool if it did but it doesn't, so this is mainly for us just to shoot. Next, our hero points, we got max out of strength because, you know, deals more total damage. Always get max out of strength on most builds, in my opinion. Max out wisdom because the more damage we deal, the higher dots we deal, so having more dot damage is always nice because sometimes we deal large amounts of damage and then there's a huge dot on the enemy, which means that you can just leave it and it'll die by itself. And then I put the rest of the points into intelligence because we don't need any points into attunement because our action skill comes back really, really quickly because of an enchantment that we'll talk about in just a few moments. So this just allows us to get buff Meister out there faster and quicker. Now, because I wanted to do mainly a theme of me using arrows and you know arrow like stuff mainly using crossbow items so we're going to be using the massive crossbow for our one shotting potentials which allows us to deal lots and lots of damage and it also very nice for mobbing if you are accurate with your shots i have <laughs> not been the best at hitting my shots sometimes but i feel like i'm a lot better than i was at the start of this build which makes me feel good and then we had the queen's cry which is an excellent pistol it's one of the better pistols in the entire game it's cryo damage most cryo weapons are really really good so of course <laughs> queen's cry being always cryo is really helpful on this build and it just deals lots of damage this is my main mobbing tool when i don't use barrage to just kill enemies which is usually most of the time on this build the enchantments on both these guns are after activating barrage gun and ability damage have a 25% chance to cause an explosion, dealing 30% of the damage dealt as poison, which is really, really nice for when an enemy is clustered next to each other or just for dealing extra damage because it does a lot of damage overall. This also can proc with barrage because it deals ability damage and with play the angles so you can get this to proc basically with everything on this build. So when you're shooting, you can get it to proc. When play the angle procs, that can proc this and then the barrage can deal extra damage with this. Getting this enchantment is essential on a barrage build because it just increases your damage extra 
exponentially, it really does increase the damage of Barrage as well, which is very nice. Next, we have a Goblin Pickaxe. The Goblin Pickaxe I have here is mainly to get our spell cooldown back and the movement speed is a nice choice. The action skill cooldown on both of these effects don't matter at all because we have an uncertain enchantment on our shield that gets us Barrage really quickly, but it is nice to just be able to pick up random gold and get buff Meister up quicker or just be able to move around the map really fast with movement speed. But the important part is enchantment on action skill start, increase gun damage by 40%. Barrage scales with ability damage and gun damage, so getting more gun damage will help our guns in question and our barrage dealing most amount of damage. Our shield is a cursed wit. We have the ability to always have our shield not be able to regen, so we forever have the while ward is depleted game bonus damage and damage reduction, which is very, very nice. On here, we have the spore warding whenever you reload, gain a charge of barrage, which makes it very, very good for this particular weapon. This weapon is honestly our setup weapon, while this is our main damage dealer, besides when you do actually get crits on this weapon, it's godly. But basically what you wanna do is say, I have no barrage stacks at all. I use the Master Crossbow and I instantly get all three of my barrages back really quickly. So I could just shoot like this and just get my barrages back lickety quick and just constantly be able to spam it, which is very, very fun. It really gives you the fantasy of using a bow as your main weapon on this build, which is really fun. The two rings we have here is while ward is not full, gain spell damage. More spell damage equals more gun damage equals more barrage damage, blah, blah, blah. Since our ward is never full, this is going to help our total DPS out. The main secondary stat that is important is pistol critical hit damage because all of our good weapons here are pistols. So that is really helpful while the other secondary stats are not preferable, but getting god rolls is hard, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Next, we have an infused sacrificial skeep, a strategy. This gives us bonus frost damage and spell shot damage. More spell shot damage, the better on your build, because that means each spell weave stack will give you more spell damage, which means more gun damage, more barrage damage, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, get as much spell shot damage as possible. Also, sacrificial skeep is a godly ability to have to just get you 10 seconds of indefinite healing, which is crazy. You can never get down when sacrificial skeep is up unless you were to be constantly getting hit or if you did killed yourself with environmental damage. Also, the frost damage is really nice to increase our total damage of our Queen's Cry. I do want to say I do have a liquid cooling and a nightshade because these are two really good items that are cryo, but I didn't use it on this build primarily because I wanted to try to get the theme of using mostly arrows and bolts to kind of have like mostly an archer theme for this build. Next, we have a jacketed buffmeister. It is on spell cast increased gun damage. Once again, more gun damage, more damage overall so that's very good to have that enchantment this is a cryo buff meister so it increases our damage overall as well as getting benefits from our bonus frost damage preferably i would like kachow instead of pew on this because kachow makes us deal more ability damage which is the name of the game for this build but i don't have that but if you have that that is a preferable buff meister for you to use finally we have a paradigm now the paradigm is an essential part of this build because 50 percent of all increases the spell damage is going Going to give us melee and ability. The important part is the ability damage. Because of this huge conversion of spell damage, we are getting a ton of damage for our ability damage, making play the angles deal a ton of damage and barrage deal a ton of damage. So since we have two points in the high thread count, we can have up to 11 points of spell weave stacks. Since we have such high spell shot power on our armor and our amulet, that means we can basically get 59.1% spell damage per spell weave stack and as established we can get 11 stacks which just means we're going to get up to 600 percent more spell damage which means 300 percent more ability damage i mean it's a little bit higher than that but that's the rough amount which is incredible on this build you're going to be dealing tons of damage with barrage and tons of damage to play the angles it's <laughs> just makes the build like turn up to 11 definitely try to get a paradigm because it does increase your damage by a crap ton it's incredible and then finally here's my myth ranks just in case you're curious here's druid here's archmaid here's bleed master and here is deadeye the only thing left is to show you how i use this build in a normal field situation so i'm going to go into a chaos chamber just so you can see how much damage we can actually deal now as i said i do like to use a queen's crawl as our primary way to deal damage from mobbing or just using our barrage or even dealing large amounts of damage to bosses 
But I do like to use the Master Work Crossbow at the very beginning because you can see on the bottom of the screen, I don't have a lot of spell weave stacks. So all I need to do is just shoot a couple times. Of course, you can shoot the enemies along the way to deal some damage while you're, you know, <laughs> getting everything set up. So since I have my spell weave stacks, I'm going to start dealing a ton of damage with my regular guns now because we are getting, you know, tons of bonuses for play to angles and tons of bonuses for gun damage overall with our magic bullet. As I said before, Barrage is able to deal a ton of damage as well so I'm going to go up close to this target and just knock him down with just two barrage charges now if it critted we could actually have killed him in just one shot but let me just real quick clear this dragon lord statue as you can see as I clear this all the enemies nearby will also die really quickly because play the angles is constantly proccing because Queen's call has lots and lots of projectiles which means more chances to actually get a random crit if we don't hit a crit shot so play the angles was going around and just killing all the nearby enemies I'm going to activate barrage right here that almost killed him and <laughs> So most of the time, Barrage will either kill in two to one shot with regular mobs, but if you can actually hit the crits, it should be able to kill in just one shot. Now the main factor of this build, or even Spore Warden in general, is the fact that Wrath of Nature allows you to deal exponentially large amount of damage after you actually hit with ability damage. And since our Barrage is kind of our setup to actually hit with ability damage or even play the angles, we unfortunately won't see the bulk of the damage happen out of nowhere with our Barrage until we actually hit someone with Wrath of Nature. So that's why sometimes when we use it, we won't see the damage just instantly killing everyone because we're still trying to set up Wrath of Nature. Of course, all the barrage damage you've ever seen was actually without Buff Meister. If I were to activate Buff Meister, we would actually see even more damage. So let me find some enemies, activate Buff Meister so you can see some more damage on the barrage. So now that I see some enemies right here, I'm going to activate Buff Meister. I'm going to activate Barrage and he's instantly dead. I'm going to see this enemy and then he's instantly dead. Keep in mind, we're also hitting crits, so the damage is a little bit higher. <laughs> than what you're seeing before but we didn't even set up wrath of nature for those particular kills and we were still able to one shot so keep that in mind when you use this build that barrage is able to deal a ton of damage despite most of your damage is probably still going to come from mainly your guns themselves here's a badass goblin i'm going to activate barrage and we almost one shot him without even wrath of nature proc which is excellent so sometimes it deals a ton of damage and sometimes it doesn't this is more than likely due to the fact that you're not going to always hit crits you're not always going to be hitting crits if you do hit crits you have your buff meister active you are able to deal tons of damage with barrage which is really fun to fully get the feel of hey i'm an archer and i'm dealing lots of damage with <laughs> actual arrows but it really does shine mostly when we have large amounts of enemies nearby because these ricocheting arrows do you know ricochet and thus kills a lot of enemies nearby so i'm going to activate buff meister i'm going to just primarily use my barrage to kill most of these enemies which is just a lot of fun, honestly. Right there, we almost fully killed that badass with just one barrage. And then we can just, because of our enchantment to get barrage really, really quickly, we can just constantly spam our barrage to really get the whole feeling of, hey, barrage is dealing a lot of damage. But of course, you know, Queen's Call is going to deal the bulk of your damage on this build because, you know, <laughs> barrage still needs a little bit of help dealing more damage but nevertheless you can still use this method of constantly getting barrage to constantly proc wrath of nature to nearby targets since it ricochets to lots of targets thus getting you wrath of nature proccing to a lot of targets on demand and thus allowing you to keep your enchantments of action skills start at all times essentially i find this build to actually be really fun to just mess around with to just try my best to deal as much damage to barrage but of course we're still dealing the bulk of our damage from our actually mobbing tool so i'm going to mainly use queen's call for its actual purpose of dealing damage right now i'm going to make sure my spell weave stacks are up so i'm going to purposely reload real quick i'm just going to try my best to kill all nearby enemies really really fast not even using buff meister or anything so here's a skeleton there's another skeleton, play the angles proc and hit this guy, which means that he will now have Wrath of Nature on him, thus dying really quickly. There's another enemy just dying really quickly. Just Queen's Call in general is your go-to like crossbow weapon to deal tons and tons of damage for bossing and mobbing. Just any enemy you see will just die really, really quickly, especially since how busted crossbows are in this game. I feel like crossbows in general just deal so much damage mid game early game and even late game any crossbow item that you find 
is just a league ahead of most other weapons. But that discussion, of course, is for another video. I have a lot of fun with this build, being able to just constantly spam barrage and dealing lots of damage with error themed weapons and everything. And I think you guys would have a lot of fun as well. So definitely try this out if you have a spore warder or even if you have a spell shot. And as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jason Noodles, Clairvoyance, Rick and Glacia, Super Noob, Josh Dig, 31 Bar 70, Doorman Tazzy, and Grey Wolf. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month. And you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments or description or on the top right to become a member. The more members we have, the closer I get to becoming full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. And the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat. Facing him up with a moxie melt till he woke up drowning in Chachki hell. Born a cave with a torch on a wall, then a window arrangement of porcelain dolls.